You that want God to do something for you today, I want you to get close to that radio and I want you to pay attention. We're going to the book of Genesis, the first chapter and the first verse. And it's read like this, that's Genesis 1 and 1. And in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Now let's go to Luke 4 and 4. And Jesus answered him saying, It is written, and man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Now we thank God for the reading of his word. I'd like to talk to you, praise God today from these words. Let's go by the manual. Let's go by the manual. Now manual is a small book of instructions. And any company that puts out a product puts out a little menu a direction to go along with that product so you know how to take care of it amen pray God we take for this in an automobile I don't care how many new automobile you purchase every time you purchase one there's a menu that go along with that automobile to tell you how to care it so you can get good service out of that automobile now if you want real good service you'll go by the menu now we're living in a day and time that many people are asking a question and said, what is this world coming to? I'll tell you what destruction is coming to an end. You believe it, say amen. Now the Bible said in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Not only that, he created everything within it and God gave us a manual to go along with it. How for it to operate successfully. You believe it, say amen. Somebody said, well, why all this confusion, all this uproar, pray God, rape, murder, and whatever, it's because they won't go by the manual. Now, have you ever been riding down the expressway and you see an automobile come down the road, pray God, smoke coming out of the tailpipe? Let's use some common sense. When you see that car smoking, you know something is wrong with it. You believe it, say amen. And when I see you smoking, I know something is wrong with you. That car need to be fixed and you need deliverance. You believe it, say amen. Sometimes we ride down the express when we see a car going down the road one-sided. Come and sis tell you something is wrong with that automobile. You believe it, say amen. And so many of you are trying to hang, live for the Lord. Something is wrong with you. You need deliverance. You believe it, say amen. And cry is a deliverer. Well, you wouldn't take a Ford product and go to General Motors to get a manual. It won't work. Now pray God, we expect, pray God to live victorious, pray God in this world that God made, then we got to follow the instruction that God gave us to go along with the world. You believe it, say amen. Reading some of your homes are broke up because you won't go by the manual. Why well, you listen to me? What you need is a born again experience. You believe it, say amen. Listen. Beloved, praise God, that also is a guarantee when you buy something, you want to know what type of guarantee that product has, that applies has, a warranty. But that warranty, that guarantee is under condition. Provided if you do certain things, they'll stand behind that warranty, that guarantee. Well, the word of God is just exactly like that. Somebody said, oh, I tried God and I failed. The Bible said if we asked anything according to his will, he had with us. You believe it, say amen. You got to get in the will and you find out what is the will of God by going to the manual, which is the word of God, the Bible. You believe it, say amen. And I want you to know this Bible tells us how to live a victorious life upon this earth in this old world that God made. You believe it, say amen. You don't have to live a defeated life. You don't have to be bound by drugs. You can live a victorious life right down here. You believe it, say amen. But you got to go by the manual. You got to live holy. You got to come out of your sin and leave them alone. You believe it, say amen. Hallelujah. Brother, why that product or that applause is under warranty, can't no shade tree mess with it. You believe it, say man. We got too many shade trees that's trying to preach the gospel today. You hear me? That preaching God's not working in the more miracle. That's a shade tree. Preach that you can't live holy, that's a shade tree. Now you listen to me today. 
But I want you to know the bring the man you say that he put miracles in the church. He put healing in the church. And God's not sick, so who needed you that are sick? You believe it's say man. So if you want deliverance, pray God, straighten up and line up with the man. You line up with the word of God. Are oh, you listening to me today? Man is made up in his mind that he's not going God's way. Now listen, every city has rules and laws. And I'd hate to live in a country where there was no rules and no regulations. Are oh, you listening to me today? And somebody said, oh, I don't know. I don't believe you can live that type life. Tell also that when you run that real life. Said, I couldn't help it. You're still going to get a ticket. You kill somebody. Said, oh, I couldn't help it. You're going to get arrested and be charged with murder. You believe it? Say, man. So don't walk up to God and say, I can't help but sin a little bit. Said, God, you understand. He sure do. And I hope you'll understand. If you commit sin, God's going to put you in hell. You believe it? Say, man. When man break man's law, man put you in jail. But when you break God's law, God put you in hell. You believe it? Say, man. Hallelujah. Now, pray God, if you want that company to stand behind his warranty, then you got to go according to the manual, according to the instruction. You expect God to heal your body. You got to go according to the Bible. You got to go according to the manual. You believe it, say man. If you want your home put back together, then your home has got to get saved. Oh, you listen to me. If you want pray God to have a victorious prayer God in your home, a victorious life, you got to line up with the man. You believe it? Say, man. Say, well, I'm saved, but my husband, I, if they have a, a beautiful home, you and your husband, children, home, got to get saved. You believe it? Say, man. Oh, you listen to me. Bring a minute of your sick because you made up in your mind you're going to serve the devil. But if you come up on God's side, beloved, God's a healer. God is a deliverer. You believe it's the same man. Even though they stand behind their warranty, but they got service sinners. Huh? So if you, in case you can't understand the manual, they can help you. You believe it's the same man. And I want you to know full gospel, holy temple is one of God's service center. You believe it's the same man. Now if you don't understand the word of God, you come over here and we'll teach you. We'll instruct you. We'll help pray you through. We'll cast the devil out of you. You believe it's the same man. So you can line up with the word of God. Well, glory. But you got to be born again. You can't live in sin and be a child of God. You can't live in sin and demand the blessing of God upon you. You believe it's same man. Well, I see I'm not going to have time to finish it. Then look at some of the things in the land. Man trying to do things another way. He wants you to go by his mouth, his manual, his rules, and his laws. But he don't want to go by God's laws. Now the Bible declared in Romans 13 and 1, let every one come subject to the high power. You believe it's same man. Man teaches that silver power. That ain't what it said. And I'm a firm believer of the laws of the land because the Bible said obey the laws of the land. But he said let everyone come serving to the high power. The high power is the power of God. You believe it's shame man. The government need to come serving to the high power. But they're made up in their mind. We're going to make rules of our own. We're going to do it our way. And it won't work. You think... We having trouble on our streets today. Just wait till this next generation grow up. If they don't go back to the word of God. Amen. Now the man says, train up a child in the way he should go. Then when he get old, he won't depart from it. But man said, don't whoop him. The Bible said, food is in the heart of a child. But the rod of correction will drive it far from him. Now wait a minute. I'm not for a child of bruise. No, sir, I don't believe in it one bit. But praise God, if you're going to raise that child up in the fear of God, the Bible said, whoop him. You believe it? Say man. But the law that say that don't touch him. Praise God, we, if you want that child to be raised up in fear of God, not to murder, not to rape, not to grow up to be a sissy, a homosexual, a butch, you got to train him up in the way of God. You got to bring him up in the house of God. You believe it? Say man. We got women out trying to give people's instruction how to raise kids, don't even have a home themselves. You believe it's shame, man. 
Bible says stand in the way, seek and act for that old path. But no, you got a new way. People writing all kind of madness. When you need to throw them away and get this one, you believe in shame at Even preachers are exalting books above the Bible, but talking about blessing prayer, the greatest blessing prayer that the world has ever known is in the word of God. You believe in shame at It tells us how to get right. It tells us how to live holy. Tell us how to keep the victory. Tell us how to be healed, how to please God, how to live a victorious life. You believe in shame at Listen, beloved, be honest with yourself. The Bible said the way of a transgressor is hard. You know what's wrong with this country of ours? Because it's in sin. Man is going about to establish his own righteousness. Listen, beloved, I don't preach a little fast, but I plead with you. Let's go back to the Bible. Let's stay with the Word of God. It's been tried in the past. Amen. Kings have tried it. Amen. Wouldn't it be beautiful if our leaders would stand on the Word of God, bring this nation back to the Word of God? Bring it Hezekiah tried it. When the enemy threatened him, praise God to defeat him. He took the letter before the Lord and prayed to God. And God delivered Hezekiah. And he'll do the same thing. The Bible declared that Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. Maybe you can't help somebody else, beloved. But you that under the sound of my voice today, let me tell you something. Pray God. God has promised us blessing right down here in this world. It said, Beloved, I would that I may prosper and be in health as thy soul prosper. But if you want to prosper, you got to line up with the book. You got to line up with the word of God. You believe it, say amen. Now the Bible said, being then made free from sin, we become the servants of God. But the shade tree preachers is preaching the day that nobody can live perfect. But that Bible declared that you can live a perfect life. If you want your automobile to run perfect, then God wants you to live a perfect life. You believe it, say amen. In the automobile, many of us are you're supposed to get a tune-up. You got to change oil at certain time. You believe it, say amen. Pray God that you got to change your tire. Pray God to keep from having flats on the highway. Brother, pray God if you want to ride in that car comfortable, pray it to run good, then you got to follow the manual that was put out by the company that made the manual, that made the automobile. You believe it, say amen. Pray God if you want to live a successful life in this world, then you got to go by the manual that made the world. You got to go by the manual. Pray God that God of the man that made you. Are you listening to me today? Listen, beloved, pray God. You don't have to live a defeated life. Dope is not the answer. You believe in shame, man. Running around and chasing is not the answer. Guzzling beer is not the answer. Gambling is not the answer. The answer is Jesus Christ. You believe in shame, man. Let me tell you one thing. If you come to God, God will forgive you of all your sin. He'll save you. He'll lose you. He'll deliver you and set you free. You believe in shame, man. Brother Christ is the deliverer. Well, what did I have time to go through it all? Let me tell you, this Bible tells you how to dress. It tells you how to take care of yourself. No wonder some of you are coming down with the flu and you catch everything going on because you won't protect yourself. You won't live holy. You won't live like you ought to live. You believe in shame, man. You expose your, expose your body to everything, praise God, on the face of the earth. You won't dress right. You won't eat right. Let's go by the man here. I said, let's use some common sense. You see a car running down the highway, praise God, smoking. Then you know something wrong with that automobile. Is that right? Huh? Praise God, if I see you smoking something wrong with you, you're not right with God. Don't you know the Bible says, praise God, your body is the temple of God. Huh? Amen. Your body is the temple of God. For the spirit of God to dwell in the mouth of any man defile this temple, him shall God destroy. You believe it, say man. Smoke defiles any temple. Are oh, you listen to me? Brother, when a car get a flat tire, you put over to the side, don't you? Huh? Well, amen. Something wrong with that automobile. Brother, if you can't rest this night, something wrong with you. If you're disturbed in your mind, something wrong with you. Why you listen to me? All you got to do is consult the manual. Brother, God guarantee his blessing. He guarantees the word of God. So I said, do they stay here? If you walk with God, you stay here. You believe it, say amen. That's something you got to do for but man. Take it to back up his warranty. That's something that you got to do. You believe it, say amen. You got to change that all when it's supposed to be changed. You got to take care. And if something happens, you got to call one of their specialists. You believe it, say amen. Anybody can't work on that product. It's got to be a person been qualified by that company. 
you believe in shame man. and the deal with your souls has got to be a man that trained in God's army you believe in shame man that went to God's school not of you going to college but you ain't been to new born knowledge you believe in shame man well glory to God well glory to God I'm gonna believe what I'm talking about you got to be clean up. You got to be saved, sanctified. And the word sanctified need to be set apart. You believe in shame, man. For the master's use and God can't use you till you clean up. You got to take a bow in the blood of the Lamb. You got to be saved till you quit lusting. Your mind got to be clean. Your heart's got to be clean. Your body got to be clean. No wonder Paul said, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away and all things become new. Are oh, you listening to me? The Bible declared, he that keep his mind upon the Lord, I'll keep him in perfect peace. You ain't got no minutes going crazy. It's your job to keep your mind on the Lord. And it's God's job to keep you in perfect peace. You believe it, say amen. And I guarantee if you keep your mind on the Lord, God will keep his part. He'll back up his guarantee. You believe it, say amen. In the book of Exodus, the 15th chapter, about the 26th verse, said, If you are hearkening to my words and keep all my stature, I will call none of these diseases to come upon you that come upon the Egyptian. How many believe that? That's something you got to do. You got to pay attention to my word. You got to pay attention to the menu. You got to walk by the book. You believe in shame, man. If you live by the book, I'll keep you. It's your job to live by the book. It's God's job to keep you. You believe in shame, man.